a world of wonder, where fantastical music machines provide the soundtrack for a tantalizing stroll through history. Vintage automobiles and memorabilia stimulate the senses around every chromed curve and corner. This is Inside Stars. Everything and every automobile inside Stahl's automotive collection has a story to tell. But this brilliant purple-blue 1919 Pierce Arrow 66A4 has more layers than an onion. In 1918, the biggest Hollywood actor on the planet was Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. The silent film star had just signed a $3 million contract with Paramount Pictures to star in 18 films. The deal made him the highest paid actor in the world, a star that huge needed a ride to match. In 1919, Arbuckle made his way to Earl Automobile Works, later purchased by Don Lee Coach Works, and met with a young Harley Earl. Yes, that Harley Earl of General Motors fame. Harley and his father Jacob had designed two previous cars for Arbuckle, but this time Harley was on his own, and they set out to build the most extravagant vehicle of its time. The car that was produced bared no resemblance to any previous Pierce Arrow. In fact, it literally looked like nothing else on the road. The sheer size alone was massive. Even by today's standards, it was built on a 147 and a half inch chassis that cost $6,000. By comparison, you could purchase a Packard in full limo trim for less than the chassis alone. Moving this beautiful beast down the road required a significant power plant. The 825 cubic inch motor was the largest engine used in a production vehicle at the time, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The T-head six required three spark plugs for cylinder, and it made 100 horsepower, which in those days was hauling. To move a car this big down the road, you needed some wheels to match, and Fatty Arbuckle's Pierce Arrow had them. 38 by sevens, crafted of meticulously honed teak, and held on by, count them, 10 massive bolts. The car is equal parts history and mystery. It was rumored to only get four miles to the gallon. That much is true, take that electric cars. The massive cooling system held over 20 gallons of fluid. This baby, just like its owner, could drink. Fatty was known to enjoy an adult beverage or two. It was said the car contained hidden compartments underneath the floorboards to conceal bootleg booze during Prohibition. I'm prepared to get to the bottom of that. Please, sir, step away from the car. What are you talking? What are you? Wait a minute. I'm. Wait a minute. Apparently, drilling on the vehicles is frowned upon here at Stalls. Fortunately, no drilling was required to discover this compartment behind the front seat. Now, we're not sure if this is the hidden compartment they were talking about, but it is here. The car was also rumored to contain a bar. And if you want to consider this beautiful mahogany cabinet located behind the front seat as a bar, complete with glasses, well then belly up. Oh, and if you need a smoke, we got you covered there too. Here's your light. Despite Arbuckle's affection for the Arrow, he wouldn't own it for long. In 1921, at the height of yellow journalism, he was charged with manslaughter following the death of a young Hollywood actress he'd associated with. He was tried on three separate occasions and eventually acquitted, but the damage to his career, reputation, and fortune was immense and he was forced to sell the Arrow to cover his legal expenses. The history of Fatty Arbuckle's Pierce Arrow was matched only by its beauty. Its full restoration was completed in 2007, and since then has won first place in its class at Pebble Beach, Amelia Island, and Meadowbrook. It's been the centerpiece of collections owned by Art Austria, Jim Brucker, Rick Carroll, and the Peterson Museum before finding its home at Stalls nearly a year ago. Harley Earl has been quoted as saying Arbuckle paid $28,000 for his arrow. Today, that's the equivalent of $385,887. The price to get it here? We'll keep that between us. But to see it in person requires only a donation of your choosing. Because after all, a visit to stalls is priceless. <laughs>